good. Number 12, Gordy Ratliff. At center for Betsy Lane, number 32, a junior will be Jimmy Fudd Parsons. And number 34, a senior center from Prestonsburg, Marty Minix. And we're just about to get underway. now in the huddle for the final instructions and David this should uh, this should be a good one to any indication the first game nobody asked for their money back did they so <laughs> this should be a good ball game should be as in the first game the girls action if you missed it you missed a, a Jim Dandy it went into four overtimes and Allen Central beat Betsy Lane 49-47 handshakes all the way around and we're about ready to go with the 58th district championship the host of this tournament the Wheelwright Trojans and they're, be, they're to be committed on putting on such a fine tournament Great hospitality from the folks at Wheelwright. Jimmy Parsons and Marty Minix to jump it up for the respective schools. Uh, we're just about underway. You're gonna hear a lot of noise, a lot of people on their feet. The tap is controlled by Betsy Lane as Duran Hall comes up with it. David Mitchell. Mitchell works around against Brian Wallace. Throws the ball right hand side. Jeff Campbell goes against Goble. I believe Goble are going to get him for bumping Campbell. So John Goble's picked up his first, team first. Campbell inbound for Betsy Lane on the side. Throws it back outside to David Mitchell. He'll work top of the key. Bounce passes for Parsons. Throws it back outside. Bounce pass to Meade. Turnarounder won't go. Gordy Ratliff on the rebound. Ratliff drives left hand side. Goes back towards the middle, moves to the right. Looks for Goble, gives him the ball, top of the key. Picked up by Davey Mitchell. Give it to Brian Wallace, right-hand side, back to Goble. Goble holds the ball high above his head. Bounce pass over to Gordy Ratliff. Goble gives to Brian Wallace. Wallace in last night's game hits 14 out of 15 free throws in the fourth quarter as Prestonsburg defeated Wheelwright. Ratliff lobs for Minix, puts it on the floor, goes up over Parsons, and he got it. Restonsburg draws first blood. And Mitchell brings it back down for Betsy Lane. We've displayed about a minute in the first quarter. They give it to Duran Hall. And now we're going to have another foul. This one could be on Brian Wallace for reaching in. It's on 33 Brian Wallace. He is first, team second. Betsy Lane inbound underneath the own basket. David could be a crucial point if one of these teams was to get in the foul trouble early. Well, uh, Betsy Lane uh, has already drawn two fouls from Prestonburg. They're in a man-to-man. -man. They have to come out of that. This keeps up. Hall, Shepard picks him up. Throws it back out. Davy Mitchell, Brian Wallace will get him. Bounce pass for Campbell. No good. Brian Wallace picks it off. Wallace drives left-hand side. Goes back top of the key. Bounce pass for John Goble. We've played about a minute and a half. Goble picked up the hall, now he drops back. Give it to Gordy Ratliff. He drives to the free throw line, feeds Brian Wallace, deep out of the corner, in and out, won't go. On the rebound, Marty Minix. And Minix puts it home. And suddenly Prestonburg is on top, 4 nothing. They draw first blood. Mitchell brings it across Betsy Lane. Wallace picks him up, top of the key. Mitchell wants to go to the right-hand side. Give it to Jeff Campbell. Lobs for Parsons on a turnaround, or he got it. I think Prestonsburg wanted to wall call on that one, Dave. And now they're going to say Davy Mitchell has fouled Gordy Ratliff. So that's Davy's first team first. Both teams are nearly going to probing the inside. I think the officials are, are going to uh, try to stay on top of this ball game early. They won't let it get out of hand, and uh, as the game goes along, they ease up a little on the officiating. Well, last night they kind of let that one get completely out of hand. So tonight they're going to try and, and get it on it early as Wallace drives around. Comes back to the left-hand side. Bounce pass across to Goble. He looks for Ratliff down in the, along the baseline. Ratliff in trouble. He walks with it. We'll go back the other way. And Mitchell's going to ring across the timeline. Wallace picks him up. 
He goes up over Wallace, got it. And we're all tied at four, 528 left as Ratliff brings it down, picked up by Duran Hall. Spins, and they say Duran Hall got him for reaching in. Foul is on Duran Hall, his first team second. Now both teams committed two team fouls. We've got 524 left. In the first quarter play, we're all tied at four. Big crowd on hand tonight. Ratliff set the inbound, give it to Shepard, back to Ratliff. He spins, goes up over Parsons, got it. 6-4 Prestonsburg. David, I'd say by the, by the time that girls game was over in those four overtimes, it was probably the largest crowd I've ever seen here at Betsy Lane. Well, we sure have a good crowd, and uh, I think people are getting their money's worth tonight. Mitchell works top of the key against Brian Wallace. Gives it over to Duran Hall, puts the fake on Shepard, goes up with it, won't go. Shepard has the rebound. He's going to hold things up and give it to John Goble. Prestonsburg on top, 6-4, 450 left, first quarter of play. As Gordy Ratliff will give it back to Goble, top of the key. Betsy Lane backs it way in. As Goble puts it up from 13 feet, won't go. Shepard has the rebound. He puts it up and in. Shepard on the offensive board. You got to give Shepard a lot of credit, David, on the offensive board. The inside game of Prestonburg so far has been our uh, bread and butter. As Mitchell throws the ball away, nobody pops out. Goble gives it to Ratliff. They'll go right back to Goble. That brings Coach Newsom off the bench. Goble works top of the key. Gives it over to Gordy Ratliff. Penetrates. Short jumper won't go. Uh, Ratliff back on the rebound. He got it. And Betsy Lane not boxing out at all, Dave. And Prestonsburg getting two easy shots at the basket. Well, they're getting two and three shots every trip down, and that's uh, that's a sin. You can't do that. Prestonsburg jumps out 10-4 as Mitchell picks up the dribbles. Bounce pass for Parsons. He throws away again, and we go back the other way. As Newsom wants a timeout, so Betsy Lane's going to take a timeout in the first quarter. Prestonsburg up 10-4. Life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. My family means everything, and I'll do whatever it takes to make sure they're safe in our home. I started with this, a whole home security system with 24-7 monitoring. We control our system from anywhere, and wherever I am, I can see my family's okay. You do anything to protect your family. Start with this, a smart home security system from Gearheart Security. Call or visit GearheartSecurity.com to learn more. That's a good shot of Coach Newsom and the Bobcat uh, bench as the players surround him. Both, both teams make the huddle. <laughs> and Goble did bounds. He'll give it to Wallace and he'll tap it right back to Goebbels. He'll bring it down. David, I don't know if, uh, if if Davey Mitchell, if those are his fault or not on those bounce passes. I believe it's a set play, and the boys just, uh, the other team is supposed to pop out. Nobody's coming out, and, and the ball's just going right on out of bounds. I think Betsy Lane gets a little bit tired right now, but this time out might uh, remedy the situation somewhat. He changed his defense to somewhat of a 1-3-1 trap that time. Okay, Prestonsburg got caught with a three seconds. So let's see if this is the, the turnover Betsy Lane was looking for to get back in the ball game. They're down 10-4, 3.35 left, first quarter of play. This is the championship game of the 58th District Tournament. It's Duran Hall. Now he walks with the ball. And Betsy Lane turns it right back over. So Prestonsburg will come back the other way. We've got about three and a half minutes left in the first quarter of play. Tonight's girls game, if you missed it, Allen Central won over Betsy Lane by two and four overtimes. What a ball game it was. As they lobbed for Marty Minix, we got an off. We have an offensive foul. Minix pushed off. They're going to call Marty Minix 
his first foul, team's third. He pushed off a little bit. Oh, Betsy Lane back the other way as Davey Mitchell will break the timeline. Picked up by Brown Wallace, top of the key. Goes to the right-hand side, give it to Parsons. Back outside, Mitchell. Give it over to Campbell. Looks for Meade underneath against Gordy Ratliff. Back to Campbell. He goes up, 12-footer, banks it up, won't go. Parsons on the rebound. He puts it home. Parsons on the rebound. He put it home. Ratliff brings it down for Prestonsburg. Drives it all the way down, right-hand corner. Give it back outside to Goble over to Brian Wallace. Wallace bounce passes for Goble on the right-hand side. Bounces right back to Wallace. He brings it in the plane. 10-footer, puts it up, got it. Prestonsburg on top, 12-6, 2.30 left, first quarter of play. Mitchell will bring it down. It looks like they're going to put Goble on, uh, on Jeff Campbell everywhere he goes, Dave. Well, that time they allowed a lot of penetration. Wallace got right down inside the paint. Campbell, give it back outside to Davey Mitchell. He drives the right-hand side, goes up over Wallace, and banks it home. And Davey Mitchell with four points, and suddenly it's a 12-8 ball game. We've got about two minutes left in the first quarter of play. Goble gives it ahead to Brian Wallace, left-hand side. Wallace, still dribbling, left-hand side. Gives the ball over to John Goble. Goble gets the ball in Ratliff's hand back to Goble. He gives it to Wallace deep in the corner. Wallace will bring it back out. Bounce pass to John Goble. They give it to Shepard underneath against Hall. Durant Hall on the foul. As Durant thought he had a clean block that time. It looked, it looked like he had the block. But he got the foul, and that'll put Shepard on the line. He'll shoot two. On that trip down to four, Betsy Lane played a 1-3-1, one, one, but they didn't trap all over too much. They more or less sag back inside. I know so when they put pressure on the guards that Gordy Ratliff comes down and brings the ball himself. Shepard now is going to shoot two. First one is up. It won't go. Okay, now you see a good uh, shot from the floor camera down there. Tony Stevens got the camera down on the floor. And this one is on the way. It's right there by Greg Shepard. Five-point lead now for Prestonsburg. 13-8, a minute 30 left in the first quarter of play. Mitchell against Wallace. Give it over to Duran Hall. Hall, cross-court pass to Mitchell. He gives it to Campbell on the baseline. Looks inside, lobs for or Parsons. He puts it up and in. Parsons, six points in the first quarter. Him and Davey Mitchell, the only two that scored for Betsy Lane in the first quarter. It's a 13-10 ball game. Bounce pass back out to Goble. Goble over to Brian Wallace. Picked up by Brett Mead out high. Goble, double team now by Campbell and Mitchell. Ratliff lobs for Minix underneath. Back out Goble, 16 feet away. They holler three seconds. And Betsy Lane now with a chance to pull within one with 55 seconds left in the first quarter. Betsy Lane claps some more, and that's seemingly causing Minix and Ratliff a little trouble. Mitchell crossed the timeline. Works right-hand side, bounce passes for Meade. He walks with the ball, and Preston's burger will go back the other way. I think Coach Jack Stanford will, will let some air out of the ball and let some time go off the clock, and they'll go probably for the last shot of the quarter, Dave. Ratliff, he drives it down on the baseline. Charge against Gordy Ratliff. Oh, I can't hardly understand that move by Gordy. I figured they'd go for the one. But that's 14 fouls against Prestonsburg, three against Betsy Lane's in the first quarter. So now Betsy Lane with a good opportunity to cut it back to one with 30 seconds left in the first quarter. Mitchell drives, picked up Wallace, top of the key, gives over to Duran Hall. He's guarded by Greg Shepard. Shepard commits the foul, and that's going to put Duran Hall on the line. And David, it's interesting to note that uh, each one of the first five, each one of the starters for Prestonburg has one foul on them in the first quarter. So Betsy Lane's going to go with the bonus, and that's going to put Duran Hall on the line with the bonus. Coach Jackie Stanford have to come out of the man-to-man -man, uh, down the road if his foul problems keep uh, mounting on him. 23 seconds left in the first quarter. Duran Hall now with a chance to pull Betsy Lane closer as it goes right through. And that's the first point for Duran Hall on the night. 13-11, he'll have a chance to pull Betsy Lane with him one. Dwayne Kidd off the bench for Betsy Lane. Shot is up, it won't go. 
This time Marty Minix has it. Gives it to John Goble, 20 seconds. He gives to Gordy Ratliff. 15, cross to Brian Wallace. He looks at the clock, pulls it back out. Wants to drive around the right-hand side. Give it to Goble, nine seconds. Prestonsburg got him to get it moving now. Ratliff, five seconds. Still dribbling, four seconds. And I believe that's going to be three fouls on Duran Hall in the first quarter. Duran Hall's picked his third foul up. Team's fourth. And now Dwayne Kidd comes in. He replaces Duran Hall as they'll have three seconds to get it off. They give it to Minix. He banks it up. Won't go. Tipped up by Shepard. Won't go. And we're at the end of the first quarter of play. We're at the end of the first quarter with a score. The Black Cats of Prestonsburg 13 and the Bobcats of Betsy Lane 11. We'll be right back after these commercials for the start of the second quarter of play. Appalachian Wireless has a plan to make your life simpler. Forward pay. No contract, no credit check, no problem. Plans start at just $19.99 a month and include unlimited talk and text. Add 3 gigabyte of data for only $29.99 a month. 6 gigabyte of data, $39.99. Or take it to the max with unlimited data plus. Only $89.99, which has 50 gigabytes of high-speed data. All the features without the long-term commitment. It's forward pay because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. It's a brand new year, and you've got new Wi-Fi-powered smart devices working throughout your home. This year, resolve to keep all those gadgets running at peak performance. It's an easy resolution to keep when you upgrade to Gearheart Broadband fast, reliable speeds and Plume whole home adaptive Wi-Fi. Give your home's data-hungry devices the bandwidth they need to enhance your life throughout the new year. Contact Gearheart Broadband to upgrade your internet and get Plume Wi-Fi today. If Prestonsburg gets this man in foul trouble, along with this man, we're in trouble. That's what happened to the girls when Keith Lee. Oh, she went, but they went to, went to the ball game. on the main top. Top, Leonard Joel. Go to your left, Leonard. Up, up. The home p -bird. Ready? Ready with the second quarter tip-off. A lot of the fans on their feet. Dave, I, I really like to see this in high school basketball. I like to see these fans get on their feet and get excited, cheer their team on. You're watching all the 58th District Tournament on KCTV Channel 5. Bounce pass into Meade. He puts it up and in. Good play that time by Brett Meade. And Betsy Lane is tied the game at 13. Ratliff drives it all the way back down. He works against Brett Meade. Still with the ball, lobs it across to John Goble. They go for Minix. Wallace gives over to Goldborn. Ratliff puts it up. It won't go. Scrap for the rebound, and Dwayne Kidd has it. He gives it to Jeff Campbell. Betsy Lane with a chance now to take the lead for the first time as Campbell drives it all the way down, banks it up and in. Jeff Campbell's first two points on the night. It's 15-13, Betsy Lane. As Ratliff brings it down himself, gives it to Shepard underneath. He missed the layup, and he commits the foul. Betsy Lane in a 2-1-2 two -two now, and they're getting more help back on the boards, and uh, they're limiting Prestonburg to just one shot now. Yeah, the Prestonburg's going to take a timeout. Mm -hmm. 
Dwayne Kidd will be on the line for Betsy Lane, shooting the bonus shot. Dwayne's shot is up and in, so Betsy Lane will take, will move out in front 16-13. 6.57 left in the second quarter of play. This is the 58th District Championship Basketball Game. This one will not go. The rebound comes off to Gordy Ratliff. Ratliff now, he's going to bring it down himself. He'll work against Davey Mitchell, top of the key. Goes back to the right-hand side. Gives to Goble on the wing. Ratliff wants the ball back out front. Give over to Brian Wallace. Wallace gives it back to Ratliff, top of the key. Down in the corner on the baseline to Wallace. He penetrates in, gives it to Goble. Back to Ratliff, 16 feet away. Got it. Six points on the night for Gordy Ratliff. And it's a 16-15 ball game. Mitchell, long pass to Campbell. Back outside to Davy Mitchell, top of the key. Mitchell having a good first quarter. Behind the back dribble, goes up on Wallace with a short jump shot. It won't go this time. Rebound comes off to Gordy Ratliff. Ratliff brings it down himself. David, you think that's part of the strategy if Coach Jack Stanford moved uh, Ratliff back out on the point? Evidently, uh, Ratliff's very versatile. He handles the ball pretty good to be a big boy. Now Jeff Campbell's going to come out and get on Ratliff, and that moves Davy Mitchell over to guard John Goble. After that timeout, uh, Stanford didn't change his defense. He stayed at the man-to-man. -man. Wallace on a good penetration move, missed the layup. Wallace missed it, and Parsons has the rebound. So now John Hale and Doug Green come off the bench for Prestonsburg. Mitchell drives it all the way down the baseline, kicks it back outside. Campbell, 18 feet away, Swisheroo. 18-15, Betsy Lane with 5-14. Prestonsburg gonna have to get the ball in. They throw it long to Gregory Shepard. It belongs to Betsy Lane. Now going a good defensive play by Dwayne Kidd as Kidd diving out of bounds. Knocked the ball off of Greg Shepard, so Betsy Lane will keep the basketball. They ain't going over top with the press, with the breaking the press, and that time the pass just took a little too long for him to handle. They're going to take Goble and Shepard out, give them a rest. They're going to replace them with uh, Doug Green and John Hale. They get the ball to Meade on a turnaround bank, won't go. I believe they're going to call it on Jimmy Fudd Parsons. He can't believe the foul. They say he pushed off. That's his first, team's fifth. We'll walk to the other end now and shoot the bonus. Five oh two left in the second quarter of play. That's the one man that Betsy Lane can ill afford to lose is Parsons because he uh, he does a real good job on the boards and have to have him against uh, Minix and Rattler. Minix, his first free throw is up and good. Five points for Marty Minix. David, it seems like these two teams really get up for each other. They really go at it hard. Well, it's a repeat from last year. Uh, and no doubt, Coach William Newsom wants to get revenge from last year. This time he misses, and Dwayne Kidd has the rebound. Kidd gives it to Davey Mitchell. And I'll be back for Jeff Campbell. He penetrates. Give it back outside to Davey Mitchell. Jeff Campbell bounce pass to Meade. This time Ratliff, I believe, on the pushing off on, against uh, Brett Meade. And the foul's on Gordy Ratliff. That's his second foul. That'll put Brett Meade on the line. The chance with the bonus. Brett has two points in the ball game. I say the next two or three trips down the floor, uh, Preston Murray will change her defense. Meade's first shot right through. Betsy Lane on top by three, 2016. And now Betsy Lane with its biggest lead, four points in the ball game. 445. John Hill to inbounds for Prestonsburg. They give it to Gordy Ratliff. 
Ratliff wants to bring it down himself. Double team, brings it right on through him. Drives it all the way down. On the baseline, throws it back outside to John Hill, to Ratliff. John Hill works against, gets over to Doug Green out of the corner. It won't go. Brett Mead has the rebound for Betsy Lane. Here come the Bobcats back the other way as Mitchell gives it to Campbell. He lets it fly from 18. Bingo. So Jeff Campbell with six points, all of them in this quarter, has got a red hot hand. 22 16. That's Elaine. It's Doug Green. Pass to Hill, top of the key. Back to Doug Green. Give it to Gordy Ratliff. He goes up with it. And we have a foul on Dwayne Kidd. No, Dwayne Kidd. Oh, okay. They say Gordy Ratliff charged. One of them did call charge. That's his third foul. One call charge and one call blocking. So I guess the guy closest to it got the charge. That's a big telling blow right there, BJ. Dwayne Kidd. So Ratliff now has three team fouls. He's going to have to be careful. Or three personal fouls, rather. Kidd works. Give it to Mitchell. Top of the key. Betsy Lane with a six-point lead with 3.30 left. And Jody Hackworth off the bench, ready to come into Prestonsburg lineup. As Meade turns around, puts it in. Brett Meade with six points, all of them in the second quarter play. And John Hill brings it down. Betsy Lane opens up an eight-point lead, their biggest lead of the ball game. As Mitchell, they're going to call Davey Mitchell with a charge, and that's going to be his second foul. And a timeout, Prestonsburg, their second timeout. 3-11 left in the second quarter. Close. I mean, 3,000 people here. They'll seat about 2,500, won't it? Well, the seating capacity. I think so. Well, look how many are standing up. Look at him. Yeah, probably about 3,500 people. The fire warden don't know about this, does he? Huh? The fire, war the fire warden don't know about this, does he? <laughs> he might turn his head tonight, though. So. I'd say better. Four sixteen. That's it. Ain't over. Crosses Berg, and that'll put John Hill on the line. Ackworth uh, comes in the lineup. Hill misses. Brett Mead has the rebound. Gordy Ratliff comes out. Dwayne Kidd gives it back to Jeff Campbell over to David Mitchell. He's picked up by Brian Wallace. He'll work one-on-one -on -one against Wallace. Beats him, drives to the lane. Wallace, I believe, has committed the foul. And that's going to be two on Brian Wallace. John Goble going back in the lineup now for Prestonsburg. He'll replace Brian Wallace. 2.51 left, 24-16. Davey Mitchell will go to the line. Davey has four points in the ball game. Prestonsburg has to go zone in a few minutes, and when he does that, why? Uh Campbell have a field day. Mitchell missed it, and uh, Meade had the rebound. Now he's got his second rebound, and now I believe it's going to belong to Prestonsburg. As Brett Meade doing a good job on the offensive board. Dave getting a rebound, put it up, missed it. Goble to bring it down. 245 left in the second quarter. Goble crossed the timeline, looks for help, gives it over to John Hill. 
John drives the ball, now comes back to Goble. He goes to Doug Green in the corner. They look inside, and Ratliff is out of there now for Prestonsburg. Green gives it back to Goble. Maybe I've seen games where this Doug Green can shoot the lights out of it. To get in the year, he's one of the best shooters in the county. Suddenly he's not taking that shot. He's open now. I thought he was going to shoot. They give it back to Goble. He pops from 15, misses everything. He hits the backboard. Dwayne Kidd has it. Long pass down to Campbell. He goes up, and Goble commits the foul. And that's the second foul against Goble. So that's going to put Campbell on the line. He'll shoot a pair. We're the one man, if you're Prestonsburg, you don't want to put on the line is Jeff Campbell. He's an excellent free throw shooter. Campbell seven points, all of them in the second quarter play. 25-16, Betsy Lane with a chance to go up by 10, 203 left, second quarter. This one won't go. Rebound comes off to Doug Green. Prestonsburg's gonna have to get some scoring out of Doug Green, open this thing up a little bit as Campbell comes up with a steal. Campbell on the run, puts it up, got it. And you can see why that Jeff Campbell was voted the Floyd County uh, MVP player for the year. John Hale, pars it inside to Minix on the turnaround bank shot, won't go, Parsons has the rebound. And the foul's on Doug Green. If you're Coach Jack Stanford now, Dave, you gotta be careful and not let this thing get out of hand, not let Betsy Lane build up too big a lead on you. He wants to go in at least nine or 10 down. Right now, it's it's almost, it's about ready to get away. And uh, this 2-1-2 two, two point drop has turned the game around for Betsy Lane. That's gonna put Jimmy Fudd Parsons on the line. Parsons, six points in the ball game, all of them in the first uh, quarter of play. Betsy Lane up by 11 with a minute 28 left before the half. This one won't go. Minix has a rebound stolen away by Campbell. And it hit the bottom of the backboard on him. Campbell doing a good job having a big ball game. As John Hill now the inbound for Prestonsburg. Prestonsburg seems like a tarred ball club. Reckon last night's game has taken its toll on them somewhat. Uh, gee, it's hard to say. You know that'd take a little bit out of him. Hill loses the ball. Double team. He lobs underneath. Hackworth has it. He puts it up. He's going to be fouled by Brett Mead. I believe he picks the foul up. That's going to be his first. Jody Hackworth will go the line. This will be the first chance for him on the line. Brian Wallace ready to come back in the lineup. He'll replace John Hill. Jody Heckler's shot is on the way. It won't go. Prestonsburg has missed four, four free throws days so far in the first half. And Betsy Lane's also missed, uh, Betsy Lane's missed five. This one goes. And it's a 27-17. Betsy Lane leads by 10 with a minute nine left in the second quarter. Campbell, long pass to Dwayne Kidd. Right hand side, Kidd stops, give it back outside Mitchell. Top of the key. Mitchell will work against Brian Wallace. Puts a left hand dribble on him. Goes in the lane, gives it to Parsons. He wants to spin, puts it up off the glass and in. Parsons eight points in the ball game. And suddenly it's a 29-17 game. Wallace runs it down the right hand side. Gives it back outside to John Goble. Doug Green lets it fly out of the corner that he's right there. I think Green's going to take more of those shots, Dave, and try to help Pressenberg get back in this thing. Well, he's a good shooter, and I'm sure Coach Stanford wants him to take those shots. Mitchell gives it to Parsons. Over to Mead. Bets the lane. Back, back to outside. Campbell gets to Mead. Spins. Puts it up. Won't go. On the rebound. Knocked around. They give it to Dwayne Kidd. He puts it from underneath. And I believe the foul is going to be on Brian Wallace. That's going to put Kidd on the line. And the foul is on Brian Wallace. That'll be his third. 15 seconds left. Mike Kahn ready to come in the lineup now. He's going to replace Brett Mead. 
Greg Shepard comes back in the lineup. He'll replace Brian Wallace. <laughs> we love KCTV. All right, this kid hits. Thirty nineteen. Bet you lane back on top by eleven. This one is good. Patrick McGarry ready to come into the lineup for Betsy Lane. He replaced Jimmy Parsons. 15 seconds. Betsy Lane up by 12. They get the ball into Doug Green. He gives it back to Jody Hackworth. 13 seconds. Work on the clock. Hackworth gives the ball to John Goble. Gives it over to Marty Minix. He's going to have to have help. Give it back to John Goble with five seconds. Goble drives through, puts it up, and they say we have a foul. I believe it's on 11, Davey Mitchell, his, his third personal foul. We really thank those fans for the We Love KC TV sign over there. <laughs> As Goble on the line, his first shot is up. They say no good. Belongs to Prestonsburg Lane violation. So two seconds now, two seconds. That's Kid inbound. Two seconds. So, uh, kid, long pass. Campbell, one second on the clock. Now Prestonsburg will get a chance. We might have one of those Marshall College shots. <laughs> Hackworth looks long to Minix. Didn't touch anybody. And they say it's halftime. We're at halftime from the D.W. Hadfield House in Betsy Lane. B.J. Newsom and David Hall bring you all the fine boys high school 58th district championship game with the score of the Bobcats of Betsy Lane 31 and the Black Cats of Prestonsburg 19. We'll be right back with a quick halftime wrap up in just a moment. Appalachian Wireless has a plan to make your life simpler. Forward pay. No contract, no credit check, no problem. Plans start at just $19.99 a month and include unlimited talk and text. Add 3 gigabyte of data for only $29.99 a month. 6 gigabyte of data, $39.99. Or take it to the max with unlimited data plus. Only $89.99, which has 50 gigabytes of high-speed data. All the features without the long-term commitment. It's forward pay because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. It's a brand new year, and you've got new Wi-Fi powered smart devices working throughout your home. This year, resolve to keep all those gadgets running at peak performance. It's an easy resolution to keep when you upgrade to Gearheart Broadband fast, reliable speeds and Plume whole home adaptive Wi-Fi. Give your home's data hungry devices the bandwidth they need to enhance your life throughout the new year. Contact Gearheart Broadband to upgrade your internet and get Plume Wi-Fi today. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. With winter upon us, you can count on Gearheart Broadband to keep your home connected. Gearheart TV connects you to a world of entertainment with great digital features, DVR, and lots of HD channels. High-speed internet connects you to the web faster than ever. And next-gen digital phone connects friends and family for less. If you don't have all three connections yet, it's a great time to bundle up for the winter. Call our friendly customer service team and start saving today with Gearheart Broadband. Tip off of the third quarter play. The 58th District Championship game. Betsy Lane and Prestonsburg. Betsy Lane coming out dominating the second quarter. Outscoring Prestonsburg 20 to 6 to open up a 12 point lead. Betsy Lane wins the tap. Mitchell looks for help, gives it to Duran Hall. Bounce passes inside from Eads, stolen away by Brian Wallace. Let's go back the other way for Prestonsburg. Wallace drives it all the way down, top of the key, gives over to Goble. He puts it up from about 12, won't go. Scrap for the rebound, and I believe Gregory Shepard has picked up his fourth foul. And he's going to have to come out of there immediately if that's on Shepard. 
That's what it's on. That's Greg's third foul. Teens first. Hall drives it all the way down the baseline, kicks it back outside to Mitchell. He lets it fly 17 feet, won't get the roll this time, and Marty Minix has the rebound. He gives to Gordy Ratliff. Ratliff will push it down himself, drives the right hand side, picked up by Davy Mitchell. Ratliff now looking for help, goes back left, comes back right to Goble. Goble looks for Minix, can't get it to him, give it to Gordy Ratliff. He drives all the way down, puts up a short jump shot, it won't go, scrap for the rebound, and Brett Mead has it. Campbell, long pass to Durant or to Mitchell. Durant Hall lets it fly off the baseline. He's right there. That's Durant Hall's first uh, field goal of this ball game. Three points on the night for Durant. Betsy Lane goes up by 14, 33-19. Six minutes and 55 seconds. Wallace with the ball for Prestonsburg. Give it to Goble. Picked up by Campbell. Pressure on him now. Gives it over to Gordy Ratliff. Marty Minix. Puts up the short jumper off the baseline, won't go. Going for the rebound, and Shepard has picked up definitely his fourth foul now. He's going to have to come out of there, and that's how we have a technical foul called also. Fouls on Shepard, his fourth. We have a T against uh, Shepard also, I believe. Greg Shepard, his fourth Campbell will go the line. He'll shoot one. That's the lane on the basketball at midcourt. The shot won't go by Campbell. That's highly unusual, Dave. Campbell's missed two out of three tonight in the foul line. Well, you're all alone out there by yourself. But might have something to do with it. Campbell gives the ball back to Duran Hall. He'll cross the timeline, picked up by Gordy Ratliff. Now switched off. Goble has him. Bounce passes in. We have a foul. They're going to call it on Martin, I believe, into the ball game. Preston Burst to a man to man, and uh, he stayed that way the whole whole game. Uh, Preston Burke committed three team fouls already early in the third quarter. Meade gives it back outside Mitchell to Campbell. Campbell looks inside, goes back to Mitchell at the hall, wide open, 12 feet away, won't go. This time Campbell has the rebound, feeds Parsons underneath, it glints. Jimmy Parsons, 10 points on the night. 35 19, Betsy Lane opens up by 16. 6.15 left in the third quarter play. As Betsy Lane begins to pull away, Ratliff looks for help, gives it to Goble in the minutes, bounce passes back, stolen away by Jeff Campbell. Campbell gives it to Mitchell, across the timeline, right hand side, give it over to Brent Mead. Back outside, Davy Mitchell, 17 feet, no. Three seconds, and Prestonsburg will come back the other way. Coach Jack Stanford off the bench for Prestonsburg standing up. Ratliff's going to bring it down. Give it underneath. Martin wide open. Puts it up off the glass and in. Martin with his first two points in the ballgame. He just got in since Shepard picked up his fourth foul. And it's a 35-21 ball game. Dave, any thoughts on what Prestonburg's going to really have to do to get back into this thing? Well, he's going to a 2-3 now, no doubt, to protect some people. Uh, Goble came up with a steal that time off the pass. Ratliff drives it all the way on the baseline, lobs for Minix. He puts it up and in. I believe Brett Mead has fouled him. Seven points on the night for Minix. Is that on Mead? That's his second. Team's first of the second half. Thirty-five, twenty-three. Minix on the line. He'll shoot one. The shot is on the way. He got the roll. Eight points on the night now for Minix. As Prestonsburg Day begins to work inside now on the offense. The last two trips down the floor, he uh, Betsy Lane hasn't helped out on the weak side, and uh, they've got the ball right in there where they wanted it. And Mitchell, they call him for welcome with the ball, and we're going to go back the other way. He's going to walk it down. Prestonsburg with a chance now to cut it back to nine. Remember, they were down by 16 earlier. Give it to Goble. He looks inside. Give it over to Brian Wallace. Picked up by Meade. They go now to Martin. He spins, puts the shot up and in. And it's a 35-26 game, 437. Campbell brings it down. 
Picks up Mitchell. Mitchell, top of the key. Goes to the right-hand side. Now he's going to back it off. Almost to midcourt. Now drives right-hand side. Picks up his dribble. Bounce pass to Campbell. Logs for Meade. He puts it up. It won't go this time. Gordy Ratliff has the rebound. Pressensburg with a chance now to cut it to seven. 4.18 left in the third quarter. They get the ball to Wallace. He drives it on the baseline. They say, I believe it's on Campbell, isn't it? Campbell's picked his first up. Team second. 4.14 left in the third quarter. 35-26 Betsy Lane. Ratliff gives it to Wallace. He got it. Brian Wallace with four points now in the ball game. Betsy and suddenly... Lane. Excuse me, Betsy Lane's going to the 2-3, and Prestonburg seems to solve that. So I look for Coach Newsom make another adjustment pretty soon. I tell you, Prestonburg's come roaring back, but they were down by 16. Now they're down by eight. They've cut it in half. So Duran Hall now going to bring it up one-on-one -on -one against Gordy Ratliff. Hall, Campbell set the pick. Hall drives it all the way down with the left hand. Now he switches back, throws it back outside to Campbell. He'll give it to David Mitchell, top of the key. Mitchell almost at midcourt by the circle. He wants to drive left-handed now, give it to Duran Hall. Hall bounce pass for uh, Campbell, back out to Hall, deep out of the corner. Duran is right there. And now Duran Hall with five points in the ball game. Betsy Lane goes up 37-28, 3.40 left in the third quarter. Ratliff. Give it to Minix. Bounce pass back to Ratliff. He spins, puts it off the glass. It won't go. Rebound Duran Hall. Long pass to Davey Mitchell. A good pass from Duran Hall to Mitchell. He puts it up. It won't go. And I believe they got the foul on John Goble. That's his third, the team's fourth of the second half. David Green comes off the bench. He'll replace John Goble. Coach Newsom did change his defense. He uh, put his point man Mitchell out high in the 1-3-1, one, more or less of a, gave him, gave him the 1-3-1 one, one look. David Mitchell 0 for 1 from the foul line. And this one, the eyes 0 for 2. Mitchell four points in the ball game. 322 left. And this one is right up and in. Give Davy five points on the night. I bet you land a 38-28 lead. Ratliff. He drives it across, gives it to Wallace. Wallace on the penetration move, puts it up, won't go. Brett Mead has the rebound. As Wallace missed it. Give it to Campbell. Parsons back outside to Jeff Campbell. Drives on the baseline, kicks it way back out high to Mitchell, cross to Duran Hall. Wide open, 14 feet away. This time it won't go. And Jeff Campbell on it, lobbed to Brett Mead. He puts it up and in. And we have a foul. <laughs> David Martin picks up his second. From here on in, Betsy Lane will be in the bonus, and Betsy Lane's on committed two team fouls. Meade will put this one up. Betsy Lane moves back out by 12. Now 13. 41 28. As Betsy Lane begins to pull back away, they get the ball to Doug Green. Green back to Gordy Ratliff. Doug Green. Deep in the corner, Brian Wallace. Give it back outside, Ratliff. Looks for help, over to Doug Green. Wallace, he'll put this one up, got it. 41-30, 11 point lead by Betsy Lane. Two minutes, 22 seconds left in the third quarter of play. As Mitchell now gotta take his time, bring it down. He's working against Brian Wallace. Mitchell gives it over to Campbell. Deep in the corner, Duran Hall. He's hit two out of there. Meade, they leave him wide open on 15. Now he gives it out to Campbell. Mitchell drives the left-hand side. Give it over to Campbell. He drives in the lane, puts it up. Won't go, tipped up by Duran Hall, won't go. He had the offensive rebound, put it up, won't go. Scrap for the rebound and Doug Green has it. So Green drives it down. Give it to Gordy Ratliff. Looks inside. Minix back to Ratliff. Ratliff will work against Give it over to Doug Green out of the corner. He's right there. 41-32, a minute 34. Give it over to Jeff Campbell to Duran Hall. Looks, looks baseline against Martin. Looks for Parsons. Bounce pass. Give it back out to Hall. Campbell, 18 feet away. Won't go. Run.
run down by Parsons. He throws it back outside to Campbell, around the horn to Mitchell. He lets fly, 16 feet, got it. Forty-three, thirty-two. about a minute left in the third quarter. Give it to Martin. Wallace, he drives, puts it up, won't go. Parsons has the rebound. Give it ahead to Campbell. He drives it back, he turned it over. And 45 seconds, and John Hill and Hackworth, Hackworth, Jody Hackworth's gonna come in. Marty Minnick's gonna have to have a rest. Is he holding his side? Yeah, he's tired. Brian Wallace comes out. The young sophomore, Martin, came in there and gave Prestonburg a lead. 43-32, Prestonburg with a chance now to cut it back to nine with 38 seconds left in the third quarter. John Hill gives it back to Gordy Ratliff. That's Kidd that wants to come in the lineup. Doug Green, he lets it fly once again. This time it won't go. Brett Mead has the rebound. Mead looks for help, works against Green, gives it over to Mitchell. As Betsy Lane calls for one. They throw it back outside to Duran Hall to Mitchell. 14 seconds. Give it to Campbell. Back to Mitchell. Over to Duran Hall, top of the key. Four seconds. Hall drives all the way. And he's going to pick up the charge. That's four fouls on Duran Hall. Team's third. Hall sits down and Dwayne Kidd comes back in. Two seconds as Ratliff will take the shot from midcourt. It's the front of the iron and won't go. And we're at the end of the third quarter of play with a score of Betsy Lane 43, Prestonsburg 32. We'll be right back with a fourth and final quarter of play in just a moment. My family means everything, and I'll do whatever it takes to make sure they're safe in our home. I started with this, a whole home security system with 24-7 monitoring. We control our system from anywhere, and wherever I am, I can see my family's okay. You do anything to protect your family. Start with this, a smart home security system from Gearheart Security. Call or visit GearheartSecurity.com to learn more. Stay in the game with a bundle from Gearheart Broadband. Catch all the action with Gearheart Streaming TV, tons of sports channels, plus cloud DVR to watch games on your schedule. Track your teams and stream video highlights with internet speeds up to one gig and plume Wi-Fi. Plus, talk sports all you want with next-gen digital phones, unlimited local and long-distance calling. Get the winning combination. Call or click Gearheart Broadband for a great bundle offer. <laughs> We're back with the fourth and final period of play. Dave, uh, Prestonburg going to have to make some adjustments and try to get back in this thing early. They made it through the third quarter with Gordy Ratliff, but it's dangerous for him to handle the ball out in the open court, but uh, he made it. John Hill lays it up and in. And they say Davey Mitchell walked with the ball. One critical thing, uh, Duran Hall, he picked up his fourth just as the third quarter came to an end. That could have a bearing on the game also. Uh, Dwayne Kidd's in for Duran Hall. John Hill gives it over to Doug Green. Preston's working out with five seniors on the floor. Give it over to Doug Green. Back outside to John Hill's Campbell went for the steal. Give it to Marty Minix. He puts it up, it won't go. Scrap for the ball. And coming out of there, and we have a foul on Doug Green. That's Doug Green's second foul. That's going to put Mitchell on the line with a bonus. Davey with seven points in the ball game. So far on the night, Davey Mitchell one for three from the foul line. 7.29 to go in the ball game. Shot is on the way, it won't go. Rebound comes off to Gordy Ratliff. Ratliff's gonna bring it down. Prestonburg with a chance to get within seven. He's picked up by Campbell. Ratliff throws it back outside. Give it over to Doug Green. John Hill, little bump, no foul. Give it over to Ratliff in the corner. Green, he hit from there before, he got it again. 
Green with six points now in the ball game. And suddenly it's a 43-36. Seven minutes to go in the ball game. Campbell, Green, they got him for the charge. I believe that's going to put Parsons now. Or Campbell on the line. Parsons. Jimmy, Jimmy. Okay, Parsons, as you get a good close-up from down on the floor from Tony Stevens. As Parsons, he'll be there with a bonus now. Parsons' shot is on the way. It won't go. Rebound comes off to Minix. And Prestonsburg to five. Ratliff, baseline. Give it out to John Hill. Back to Gordy Ratliff. He shoots out of the corner. It won't go. Scrap for the rebound. Hackworth has it. He puts it up and in. David Prestonburg has come out and outscored Betsy Lane 6-0 early in the fourth quarter. And they've got themselves right back in the ball game. They're down by five with six and a half minutes to go. Betsy Lane's going to have to hit their foul shots. Kid, deep out of the corner. Got it. Little Wayne Kidd deep out of the corner, and suddenly it's a 45-38, seven-point lead by Betsy Lane. Ratliff works against uh, Mitchell, gives it over to John Hale. Back to Ratliff. Pressersburg patient. They've got Doug Green over there on the left-hand side. Now they give it to him. Get back outside to Gordy Ratliff. Green, he'll shoot from the same spot. Got it again. Eight points for Doug Green. As he begins to warm up, and it's a 45-40 ball game. Bounce pass to Campbell. Double team deep in the corner, throws long pass. Diagonal to Davey Mitchell. Down to Brett Mead. Left-hand side, backs it out to uh, Mitchell. He'll work against John Hill. Mitchell, bounce pass in the corner to Dwayne Kidd. Kidd looks for help, gives it inside. Stolen away by Jody Hack with the Prestonsburg. Prestonsburg with a chance to cut it to three. Brian Wallace off the bench for Prestonsburg. Ratliff, top of the key. Working around the right-hand side. Puts up the short jump, bank shot, got it. Gordy Ratliff, eight points in the ball game. And suddenly it's a 45-42 ball game. 5-13 left, Campbell brings it down. Gives it to Mitchell, across the timeline. Coach Junior Newsom wants a timeout. And now we get it. Timeout on the floor, 45-42. Betsy Lane over Prestonsburg. Get a good close look up. Betsy Lane inbound at midcourt. Duran Hall back in the lineup for Betsy Lane. Minix got one foul. Court. Duran Hall gets back in the lineup for Betsy Lane. He'll replace Davey Mitchell. Jeff Campbell takes over on the point. He'll be guarded by Doug Green. Campbell works around Green right hand side. Looks deep in the corner for Dwayne Kidd. Kidd looks outside, gives it right back to Campbell. Back to Kidd. Kidd, he'll fire deep out of the corner. He got it. 47-42, five-point lead. Ratliff works against Campbell. They got Campbell this time. And that second one on Jeff Campbell. That's the fourth team foul against Betsy Lane. So the next foul will put Prestonsburg in the bonus. Both teams will be in the bonus from here on in. Four forty to go in the fourth quarter. A lot of time left. <coughs> and as we said on the outset, this could be a good one if it goes down the wire, David. Cross court, Doug Green. Cross court, Brian Wallace. He shoots out of the corner. Got it. And we have a whistle on the play, and I, I believe it's on Jody Hackworth. So they give Brian Wallace the basket. It's forty-seven forty. Four. And I believe Hackworth has committed his first foul. And now we'll go back the other way. Bet you shoot the bonus. 425 left in the ball game. 47-44. Prestonsburg within three. Prestonsburg has outscored Betsy Lane 12-4 so far in the fourth quarter. Campbell one of three from the line. 
And Jeff Campbell, usually a Mr. Automatic from the foul line. Campbell will be on the line with the bowling shot. First one is up. It won't go. Rebound, Marty Minix. And Prestonsburg got a chance to get within one if they can score this time down. Ratliff brings it down. Up of the key. Durant Hall and Jeff Campbell of the guards for Betsy Lane. Wallace, deep out of the right-hand corner. Don't want to shoot now. Brings it back outside. Gives it to Ratliff. Ratliff picked up by Campbell. Betsy Lane packs it back in. They go to Doug Green. Back to Ratliff. Green. Drives the baseline. Bounce passes tipped out of bounds by Durant Hall. Four minutes to go in the ball game. And they want to come back by Prestonsburg. Be down by 11. Start the quarter. They can come within one. They get the ball to Minix. To Ratliff. Ratliff against. Lobs it inside Minix. Cross court. Stolen away by Durant Hall. And they say the foul's on Brian Wallace. One pass too many. Overpassed. And that's four on Brian Wallace, and that's going to put Durant Hall on the line. B.J., the key of the game so far for reason for this comeback, the ability of uh, Gordy Rattler to stay in the game. He hasn't picked up a foul the third, third or the fourth quarter, has he? No, he's, that is three in the first half, so Durant Hall on the line now. Durant so far on the line, one for two. This one is up. It's right there. Betsy Lane will pull back out now, 48-44. Lead by four, 3.53. The next one is on the way. And it's right so suddenly, Betsy Lane is going to move it back out by five. And Dave, that was a costly uh, turnover there by Prestonsburg. They had a chance to get within one. They make, like you say, one pass too many. Ratliff works the baseline now, 3.40. Ratliff looks outside, looks inside, can't get it, give it out to Brian Wallace. He gives it back to Gordy Ratliff. He'll handle the basketball. Three minutes and about 30 seconds left in the ball game. Wallace, Ratliff, top of the key. Ratliff gives it over down in the corner now. Wallace, back outside Ratliff. Prestonsburg wanting to score this time down, take a lot of time. Ratliff gives it to Wallace in the corner, lob inside for Minix. He turns, puts it up, cannot get it to go. Parsons has the rebound. Give it over to Durant Hall, right back to Campbell. Betsy Lane now, a chance to go back on top by seven. We're approaching a three minute mark left in the ball game. Campbell drives left hand side, give it over to Dwayne Kidd. He's hit two in a row out of the corner, three in a row. Dwayne Kidd into the ball game, has hit three big baskets, has a total of nine points on the night. And suddenly Betsy Lane moves out by seven. Ratliff, give it to Doug Green. Shot is on the way, I believe that's on Durant Hall. If it is, it's all. Durant Hall has fell out of the ball game. Durant Hall with seven points in the ball game. Davey Mitchell will have to come back in now. So Coach Newsom now going to take the 30 seconds. Greg Shepard checks back in for Prestonsburg. So Mitchell's going to come back in the ball game. Dave, 245, a lot of time. If Prestonsburg gets these two free throws, they're back within uh, five. 245, it could be a lifetime. A lot, of game, a lot of things can happen, and usually in your bigger games, well as all the games, uh, you have to hit the foul shots down toward the end. Hackworth on the line. His shot is up, got the roll. Hackworth with four points now in the ball game for Jody Hackworth since she's come in. And it's a 51-45 ball game. The next one is on the way. It looks good. It is. It's a 51-46 ball game. Campbell, right hand side, picked up by Doug Green. Brian Wallace comes to help out now. Hackworth goes for the steal. Can't get it. Go to Mitchell. Mitchell picks up the dribble. Gives it to me. Back outside to Mitchell. Two minutes and 30 seconds to go in the ball game. Betsy Lane owns a five-point lead. Kid lobs inside, back outside. Mitchell 17 feet away, short, won't go. This time on the rebound, Doug Green. Green drives it down. Gives it to Gordy Ratliff, 217. Ratliff walks it, gives it to Wallace in the corner. Pressenberg got to put the ball up. We're approaching the two-minute mark. Ratliff has it almost stolen away, takes it right back. Brian Wallace out of the corner, he hits. 
Brian Wallace, 10 points in the ball game. It's a three-point lead, a minute 56 left. Give it over to Campbell. Campbell looks across the line, give it to Parsons. Parsons waits on Campbell, gives it right back to him, across to David Mitchell, a minute 48 left. Get the ball to Campbell. Betchelang goes into a three offense, pull three men out high. This time, Kidd runs across. Meade works on Hackworth, drives it in the lane, puts up a short jump shot and got it. Well, that's a 53-48 with a minute 25. Ratliff, Wallace, back to Ratliff. He gives it to Doug Green. He'll let it go out of the corner. Won't go. This time, David Mitchell runs it down. Gives it over to Campbell. A minute eight left. Lob for Meade. He is fouled. He's fouled by Jody Hackworth. That's his second. And that right there just about put it away. Okay. <laughs> Time out on the floor of Russensburg. Six left in the ball game. 53-48, Betsy Lane. Let me on the line with the bonus. It's up and in. And Betsy Lane moves up by six with a minute six. And this one is too hard and it won't go. Shepard has the rebound. As Pressenberg's going to have to hurry down now and put the ball in the air. Ratliff, top of the key, drives to the left-hand side. And Betsy Lane making them eat some time off the clock. Pressenberg needs to put the ball up. Ratner forces it up from 15, it won't go, and Campbell has the rebound. Quick outlet pass to Meade, and he walks with the ball, they say. It's going back the other way. <laughs> 49 seconds, Dave. I believe Coach Newsom upset. He wanted him to come back out and turn the wagons and hold it up. Give it to Wallace out of the corner. He switches the rule. 12 points by Brian Wallace. What a fine job that young sophomore has done. 42 seconds, four point Betsy Lane lead. They get it in to Campbell. Prestonburg got to commit some fouls now. The long pass, tipped out of bounds by Shepard. It'll belong to Betsy Lane, 37 seconds underneath the basket. Prestonburg got to go for the steal and foul, Dave, if they don't get it, right? They have to gamble right now. They have nothing to lose. All right, if you're Prestonburg looking down, uh, who you put on the foul line? They're going to throw it way back outside to Campbell and get the ball to Mitchell. They're going to get the ball in Campbell's hands. Pressensburg now going to have to foul. It belongs to Betsy Lane, 28 seconds. I think Pressensburg wasting too much time. They're going to have to foul immediately if they can't steal the inbound pass. I believe that's what Coach Jack Stanford is most them for. They throw it way back outside to Parsons. He stepped on the line, and it'll belong to Pressensburg, 28 seconds. If Prestonsburg uh, can score here, Dave, we've got ourselves a ball game. No doubt, Coach Newsom wants Mitchell and uh, Jeff Campbell to handle the ball. It's just a... Well, give it to Gordy Ratliff. Prestonsburg cannot take a lot of time. They give it to Wallace in the corner, picked up this time by Brett Meade. Jeff Campbell fouls him. And that's three on Campbell. That's going to put Gordy Ratliff on the line. Gordy Ratliff, only eight points in a ball game tonight. He'll get the bonus. 22 seconds, a lot of time left. If Ratliff hits these two... It could, it's a two-point ball game. Betsy Lane's going to take a timeout and talk about it. Let's take a TV timeout. Headlights Wireless has a plan to make your life simpler. Forward pay. No contract, no credit check, no problem. Plans start at just $19.99 a month and include unlimited talk and text. Add three gigabyte of data for only $29.99 a month. Six gigabyte of data, $39.99. Or take it to the max with unlimited data plus. Only $89.99, which has 50 gigabytes of high-speed data. All the features without the long-term commitment. It's forward pay because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless.
22 seconds left in the ball game. A lot of pressure on Gordy Ratliff now, Dave. He's a senior all. He's the type of player you want at the line. No good. Meade has the rebound, and that should about do it for Metro Lane. They give it up to Mitchell. Throw it back outside to Campbell, the kid. And we have a foul, and Shepard has fouled out of the ball game. Dwayne Kidd now will go the line. 12 seconds. Foul on Shepard is fifth. Good floor shot there. By our cameraman down on the floor, Tony Stevens. They're gonna give him two shots, intentional foul. Shot is on the way, it don't go. As the Betsy Lane fans begin to chant, David, we're number one, 12 seconds to go. This one's all over. This one won't go. Quick rebound, Minix. Give it to Ratliff. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six. Ratliff spins all the way. Puts it up off the glass. Got it. Four seconds. Timeout. Three seconds. 54, 52, three seconds to go. What's the strategy, Dave? I'd say Coach Season wants to get the ball inbounds, preferably a point. Well, by Brian Wallace. Doug Green's got eight. Two, four, five, two, and four. I've got Prestonsburg added up there already. Parson, Parsons then bound for Betsy Lane. One, two, three. Bounce pass it into Mitchell. He's fouled right away. By Hale. John Hale commits the foul, I believe. That's his first. Marty Mannix goes back in the lineup. No time went off the clock, Dave. No time expired, just a split second there. That's gonna put uh, Davey Mitchell on the line. Coach Newsom asked him for two shots. So we're gonna see, Betsy gonna put everybody back, I believe. Mitchell will be on the line. Parsons goes back. Martin comes in the lineup. David Martin. He replaces John Hill. David Martin comes back in the lineup. We're going to shoot the bonus, I believe. So Davey Mitchell on the line. He has a chance to ice it for Betsy Lane. He hits the front end of this one. It's all over. Shot on the way. Got it. And this ball game is all over. As Betsy Lane moves up by three, 55-52. And high fives all around. It's over. As Mitchell has asked it with three seconds to go. Shot is on the way. He couldn't get this one. Martin gives it to Gordy Ratliff. One second to go. Ratliff lets it fly. It won't go. And the ball game is over. And the Betsy Lane Bobcats have come back from a defeat last year as we have a tackle on the floor. Betsy Lane defeats Prestonsburg 55-52, and we'll be right back for the final wrap-up in just a moment. It's a brand new year, and you've got new Wi-Fi-powered smart devices working throughout your home. This year, resolve to keep all those gadgets running at peak performance. It's an easy resolution to keep when you upgrade to Gearheart Broadband fast, reliable speeds and Plume whole home adaptive Wi-Fi. Give your home's data-hungry devices the bandwidth they need to enhance your life throughout the new year. Contact Gearheart Broadband to upgrade your internet and get Plume Wi-Fi today. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, Social Security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. 
I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Good balance scoring attack. They end up with a total of 55 points. For Preston Spur, Gordy Ratt of 10 points. Marty Minix, 8. Greg Shepard, 3. John Goble did not score. Brian Wallace Letterman scoring with 12 points. Doug Green had 8. Hackworth, 5. Hale, 2. Martin, 4. For a total of 52 points. David uh, David Hall, Junior Newsom's got to be well pleased with the balance scoring attack he got from the Bobcat team tonight. No doubt. Uh, Let's see, how many people do you have at double figures? Uh, he only had the two, but everybody was seven to 12 points. Well balanced scoring, that shows uh, unselfish play. That's the style of uh, ball he plays. On the other side of the ledger, Prestonburg had, uh, how many people did they lose to foul? Nobody? They lost uh, Shepard to fouls. I thought, I thought after the first half, they might lose uh, three or four players, but uh, that's a tribute to Stanford. He uh, stuck with his game plan and uh, he just lost that one person. Okay, uh, we got a celebration going on out at mid floor. Uh, Keith, you want to go to mid court and pick up the celebration from the Bobcat fans? Last year, Prestonsburg beat Betsy Lane in the 58th district championship. It must be a good feeling for the players and the coaching staff to come back and win this year. Last two years, those teams have been 1 2 uh, in the district the conference play, and uh, this year they finished 1 2, and this is how it came out again. Uh, according to the conference seed. All right, our KCTV most valuable player for the 58th district tournament goes to Brent Mead of Betsy Lane. Brent Mead will receive a t-shirt and a hat from KCTV. And once again, congratulations to Brent Mead on being voted the KCTV MVP for the 58th district tournament. Once again, the championship game, Betsy Lane 55, Prestonsburg 52.